What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. And I'm back with another TV box review. This one is another unique Android TV box which you may not have seen before. So today I've got my hands on the Quintakes Q912 Android TV box. So as usual we're on our full performance tests including 4K videos, gaming, benchmarks and we'll see how this ranks in our top TV box performance charts comparing it to other TV boxes. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the S912 Octa-Core running at 2GHz. The GPU is the Mali-T820. You've got 3 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 6 Marshmallow, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second, supports HDR10 and HLG HDR. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual, a UK power adapter, HDMI cable and this also comes with an analog AV connection for your old televisions. Remote control, full featured and last but not least the TV box itself. So here is the Quintex Q912. Okay the first thing that hits me is that this is made completely from aluminium, finished in black and it feels solid in the hands. Um, at the back you actually have two high gain antennas. I've never seen two antennas on an Android TV box before so I'm expecting this to have a really good solid Wi-Fi connection. We've got the Quintex logo at the top. On the front we have an LCD panel, an infrared port and a power button. Nothing on the sides and on the back of the unit we have the power socket, network LAN, HDMI port, the AV port, optical out and you have three full size USB ports. On the left there is a small micro SD card slot and also a reset hole. And that brings us back to the front of the unit. And this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. And to give you guys an idea of the size, I'm going to bring in the H96 Max. So the H96 Max is one of the smallest TV boxes you can get. You can see the Q912 is slightly bigger by a few centimeters. And in thickness, they are more or less the same. So I'm going to get this hooked up to my TV and capture card and we're going to find out how well this TV box performs. I'll be right back. So first of all we're going to run a boot up speed test. So this TV box takes 26 seconds to fully boot up to the desktop home screen. So here is the custom home screen for the Q912. So all the large icons on the top part of the screen are all fixed icons, they're shortcuts to popular apps and you cannot edit or change those shortcuts. However the bottom row can be fully edited, all you do is hit the plus sign, select your favourite apps and they will all appear at the bottom. Furthermore this TV box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which you have 25 gigs available to use. And if we have a quick look in about you will see that this is running the latest Android 7.1.2 Nougat. So here are all the apps installed on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet. These are your default apps and you have plenty to get you started, including YouTube, Netflix, Mobdro, Showbox, Happycast, KDMC, Google Chrome, and of course, the full version of the Google Play Store, which will give you access to thousands of free games and apps. Furthermore, I had a look in CPU Z and it shows that this box comes rooted as standard. So I tested out Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it was very quick and easy to connect and immediately mirrored my screen. There was no lag, it was very smooth. I can now do anything on my smartphone such as watch movies and play games and it will be wirelessly mirrored on the big screen. So I'm happy to say Miracast works very well. So this TV box also comes pre-installed with KDMC which is basically a custom version of Kodi 17.3 Krypton and you can easily upgrade to the latest official version via the Google Play Store. This also comes with the latest version of Showbox pre-installed and ready to use. So for the next test we're going to try playing some 4K video samples from a USB drive. So let's go ahead and play the first video. Goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the camp, no. So that was 4K videos from a USB drive, let's move on now to the YouTube test. 
so you can stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. So what took you to Idaho? A medical conference. Are you a journalist? Mm-hmm. Have it explained the questions. Why? I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Every civilization was built off the back of a disposable workforce. Now let's check out the gaming performance beginning with Real Racing 3. <laughs> the enemy and get into position. In the Wi-Fi speed test we got download speeds of 20 and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is quite a decent result considering the top speed I currently get is between 20 to 30 megabits per second. And in the anti two benchmark test we got a total benchmark score of 41,204. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2017, showing you all the latest Android TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So the Quintakes has achieved position 17 on this chart with a very decent benchmark score of 41k. Now if we compare this TV box to its own price bracket, then here is the top performing Android TV boxes over $100. And again, all devices have been ranked by anti two scores. And on this chart, you can see that the Quintex Q912 has achieved position 7. So to simplify things, going forward, I will provide two charts for every TV box I review. One comparing all the TV boxes and the other comparing it to a specific price bracket. So it'll be interesting to see which Android TV box I get next and what overall score it will get. So stay tuned as we have lots more to come. So there you have it guys, that was the Quintex Q912 Android TV box. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So here are my pros and cons for this product. Feel free to pause and read at your leisure. So you have a premium all metal build quality with twin antennas providing a very good Wi-Fi connection. Furthermore, you have the latest version of Nogart. Now in the Amazon listing, it states Android version 6, which is what I was expecting, but to my surprise, this actually came pre-installed with Android version 7.1.2. It offers very smooth and fast experience, all games played nicely with no frame drops. This also supports a maximum of 4K videos at 60 frames per second. You have a very simple and easy to use home screen. And for the cons, all I could find is that there is no USB 3. So bottom line, this is a great performing TV box with an impressive build quality and has many premium extras like twin antennas, front LCD, Android 7.1.2 and lots more. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.